today Lincoln has a golf tournament, it's match play. And this is the qualifying tournament for match play. If you don't know what match play is, basically it's a thing where they put you in a bracket like NCAA March Madness, one through 16. You go to play, you play against one person and each hole is worth a point. And whoever can get the most points enough that the other person can't come back, knocks that other person out. So it's like a golf tournament that so lasts for like four like or five you days. A, you get five on a hole and the other person gets a four, they get the point. But if you both get fives, then, then, um, yep, yep. then it's a tie. They're playing the back nine, so the first hole is the tenth hole. Okay, first shot was really, really good. Like three wood, hit it right in the middle of the fairway. Hopefully Lincoln just thinks, get it on the green. Because if he tries to hit, go at that pin, he might land it in the bunker. Yep. A little deep, top tier. Number two is a kind of long par three. There's the boys up there. Lincoln should have honors. Uh-oh. That's going right left. Oh, good. It's right there. It's a bit of a downhill chip, which is hard to slow it down. Just hit the lip and lipped out. Bogey bogey. See if you can get some pars or some birdies. This hole right here is the 12th hole, and it is the tightest stinking hole. Should be hitting an iron. Oh. Look at this guy. There it is. Right in the perfect spot. Hey. Look at that little guy. Gotta run it up a hill to that. You can escape this with the par though. I feel good, but by the way things are going, it's probably gonna be another bogey. All right, par three, easiest hole on the course.
a par. Yes, good job, Lincoln. Good job. This is a really long par five, and the green is really high up the hill. Oh, right there. A little shorty short in the fairway. So right here on the sidewalk, it says 250, and he is right there. It's fun to just watch this when I can't talk to him and be a caddy. Here's a question. What would it be like if in the PGA Tour, they did a tournament, like a major even, and said no caddies allowed? How much better do caddies make you? I would imagine that for some golfers, it helps a lot. For some golfers, maybe not so much. But it would be a cool thing to have an even playing field where you have no caddy in your back pocket telling you every little thing and all these secrets and all this stuff about the course. And you just have to get out there, figure it out yourself, play some golf, and uh, hit some shots. This is the hill I was talking about. You got this giant hill with two bunkers and it's kind of like a rough area. So you just kind of want to lay it up right in here on the fairway somewhere and then you hit your approach shot and the green is a weird two-tiered green and it looks like the pin is in a tough back top tier placement. Oh, that's a good shot. I see it coming. There it is. Exactly where you want to go, buddy. All right, this is that crazy green right here. Huge ridge. Lincoln hit his approach shot super deep, which is trouble because there's white stake right here. In golf, white stake means you have to go back to the place that you were at and re-hit your ball with the penalty assessed because this is somebody's backyard. But there's white stake, the good news. Look at this. Look at Lincoln's ball. It is just beyond the white stakes. Oh my gosh, that is so close. Oh. Nice, good putt. Escaped with a bogey on that hole. Um, that was a pretty weak chip that he had, but it is what it is. I have no idea where he hit that shot. We'll find out in a second, but it looked good coming off the club. Um, this is the frog pond, I like to call it, because there's the giantest frogs. Oh, there's a plumper. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> some more. <laughs> Those kids are over there being serious playing golf and I'm chasing frogs. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. he hit the lip. He hit the lip. Par. He just parred the par three, so I guess par threes are uh, his favorites today. No double bogeys today. Gosh, why did I just say that? I probably just jinxed him. But no double bogeys today. I already said it, so I'll go with it. Or triple bogeys or quadruple bogeys. But um, just bogeys and two pars. So here he goes. He's up first. Uh-oh. Shanked it. Oh, it went in the bushes. That's OB. He hit it right there in that junk. It's my fault. I said he hasn't had a double bogey yet. And then he hits the worst shot of the day. I take full responsibility for that OB. <laughs> All right, because he hit it white stake, he has to hit another one from the tee. So this will be, the drop was a second shot and this hit will be his third. Oh my gosh. He hit it like 10 feet down the hill. So this would be the fourth shot of the hole. 
Have a solid. Oh no. Go out, get out, get out. Yes, it came out and onto the fairway. If he makes this, pulls it out, it would be for par. He's not par in this. Oh geez. He is down there by that rock. There's a red stake right there and he is right there. So if he dropped it, it would be his sixth shot. So his hitting the ball would be his seventh stroke. So he'd have to get up and down for him to get nine. The rule is with double par, if you're double par, you just pick up your ball. So he's trying to just pick up the ball, but I'm like, what the heck? It's a par five. And so um, I think he's gonna go down there and try to play it. You gotta play it out. All right, he ended up getting a 10. Oh yeah, he's just laying it up. He just hit it right there to the top of that hill. That's gonna make for a long hole, but that is a safe play. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking to the righty right. Oh, oh, e oh, it hit the car path. Oh, oh, it's coming down the hill. Keep going. Oh, it's right there. It is right there in those bushes. And it's in the bunker. Oh no, it came out. This would be his par putt. That would be great to end with a par. Get Lincoln's thoughts after the round once he's done a scorecard and maybe he's cooled down a little bit. I think he's going to be pretty fired up. So I was four over coming into 17. And I got a triple and I got a quadruple. Par threes were your friends, par fives were your enemies. <laughs> Lincoln doesn't understand why I had a role to play in him doing so poorly on eight and nine. Do you want to know why? Before you hit, I was just talking to the camera and I was like, Lincoln's had a really good round. He doesn't have one bogey today. And I go, oh no, did I just jinx that? Not, and I'm like, not one double. And I was like, and then yeah. I go, or double, or triple, or quadruple. He doesn't have any of those. And I was like, I just hope I didn't, I totally jinxed that. Didn't I jinx that? I jinxed that. And then the next shot, you hit it out of bounds, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, Lincoln, it's totally my fault. And then the next shot, you shank it, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the winning score was a 44. If Lincoln would have just bogeyed the last two holes, bogeyed him, he would have shot a 43, and he would have taken first place and had the number one seat for the match play. There's Lincoln's golf tournament. Match play is coming up in the next week or two, I think it is. It's like a week and a half. Lincoln. Are you okay if we uh, film your match play and show you playing head-to-head -head against someone? Yeah, sure. Do you guys want to see that? Do you think they want to see that? Probably not, but we'll show it to you. <laughs> We're going to put it there whether you like it or not. How about that? All those that said, we know we don't want to see it in the comments, it's going to be there. All right, good job, Lincoln. You played well. Yeah. Today's my 39th birthday. Yep. I feel old. 40th like is like a lot older. It is a lot older. Like compared to 39. 40, 41 is a lot older than. No, 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 but like. Okay, let's not talk about it. It's all old. That's a giant frog. He's just chilling. 